is there really a slowdown in the self storage space due to rising interest rates? Well, let's talk about that today and let's talk about what I may be grateful for this Thanksgiving. My name's Mark Helm and I'm the author of Creating Wealth Through Self Storage and I'm the creator of the Self Storage Quick Start Academy which houses the on-demand self storage boot camp that I offer. We just completed a boot camp uh, earlier this month and uh, if you were unable to participate in it but are still interested in the training that we offer at the boot camp there is an on-demand version of it that you can explore at a link either in this episode or in the video below uh, this will take you from wherever you are now all the way to putting your first or your next self storage facility into service you can find out more about it at creating wealth through self storage.com but is there a slowdown in the self storage space due to rising interest rates well the total picture isn't in yes but i think there is one or there is one coming. I'm definitely noticing it in the development side. But just like our world today, the self storage space is a mixed bag of like contradictions. Uh, we'll talk about those in a second. As a small investor, our job is to navigate through these apparent contradictions or whatever's happening in the world today and adjust and design our business plan or our business strategy accordingly. Yes, I've had a couple of deals fall out because of the rising interest rates. And if you, the research I've done, if you follow some of the bigger firms and Marcus and Millichaps and the Cushman and Wakefields, they'll tell you that there's some slowdown or a potential slowdown in the marketplace. I was reading an article in wealthmanagement.com and here's a quote that I saw from one of the uh, self-storage real estate agents that are out there in the marketplace today. Instead of 20 offers for a property, there are now seven. And fully stabilized properties in top metropolitan statistical areas, top MSAs, continue to draw strong interest. Secondary and tertiary market deals, early lease up, and certificates of occupancy deals are still seeing interest, but typically fewer bidders than what we saw at the peak. Both Marcus and Millichap and Cushman and Wakefield will tell you that cap rates have gone up. I haven't seen definitive data on that uh, on third quarter 2022, but I am seeing higher cap rates in some of the offerings that are hitting my inbox for existing self storage. So what does all this mean? Well, in my case, the deals that fell out and I have a sneaking suspicion that when people talk about a lot of development deals not hitting the market anymore, these is the same thing. These were deals that we underwrote when interest rates were at one point and then when interest rates went up, it kind of changed the economics of the deal. Now, since we've had the quote increase in rates, we're under we're still underwriting deals. We're just using different numbers. And so we're looking at deals today and underwriting them. And we have some under contract at the moment uh, with the higher interest rates. So I have a suspicion if you take the development out, which is also coupled with not only higher interest rates, but higher construction costs. If you take that out of the equation, I think a lot of the quote slowdown may be just deals that were underwritten while interest rates were lower. But there is no denying rising interest rates have put a lot of potential buyers on the sidelines which in my world is not a bad thing. I've been waiting for a slowdown in the self storage space for a number of years. I'm not sure if this is it, but maybe it is. So we're in a world right now and we're in a space right now with a lot of contradictions happening all at the same time. The self storage, 
space may be slowing down. Interest rates are rising. But rental rates have never been this high before in the self-storage industry. Cap rates are rising. Prices are rising. Construction's slowing down. But there's still a lot of buyers and multiple offers. I mean, going like the one agent said, from 20 to 7, seven's still a lot of offers on a particular property. See, investors seem to be drawn to self-storage, especially in challenging economic or recessionary times. Why? Well, self-storage tends to do well in recessions. It has short-term leases. Income can be raised and move along with inflation a lot easier than other asset classes. Self-storage has a lot of the advantages the other ones don't. Here's a contradiction. For the Fed to win the war on inflation, the economy has to go into recession. Now, we're not at an all-time high on employment, but employment is still very good. And unemployment is relatively still very low. And we're in a slowdown or maybe into a recession. So as you're trying to navigate, what does all of this mean for us as small investors? Basically, there's two things I, I'm seeing people do out there. One is a lot of people are going on the sidelines. I don't want to, if you're interested in going on the sidelines and waiting, that is a valid strategy. I'm not saying don't do that. In fact, for me, the more people that do it, the better. Now, as always, especially during the low cap, high price era we've just been in for almost the last decade. My strategy, the strategy that I, the, with the people I work with, we tend to be focusing on opportunities that big money isn't chasing. There's usually other people chasing it, but we're competing with usually other smaller investors rather than big cap or well-funded or funds out there. We will let the big money chase in the larger, fully stabilized, four cap world of self-storage. We tend to look for opportunities those guys aren't looking for. And today, just underwrite them with higher interest rates and be sure to use higher cap rates on your reversion cap rate. In other words, to determine what the value is going to be in future years, we're using larger cap rates, seven, seven and a half percent cap rates today. That's how we're underwriting our deals on our exits. This isn't breaking news, and a lot of people tend to agree, but I think interest rates will probably have one more upward kind of wave on them. And then I think third, third quarter, fourth quarter, 2023, when things really begin to slow down, not just in the economy, then I think we'll start seeing an interest rate decline. Well, we're not locking interest rates in right now. We'll ride the next up wave in order to catch the down wave that we think is coming. I'm not telling you to do that. I'm just telling you how we're underwriting and thinking about our deals. Now, interest rates probably aren't going to come down to where they were and probably shouldn't come down to where they were. I think a lot of people getting in the self-storage space, the cheap capital is what attracted them. And when you can get capital at, you know, three, four percent, and that's the biggest cost of capital in the whole transaction, that makes it easy for a lot of people to get in the business. Higher interest rates tend to thin them out, thin people out, and I'm not, you know, I'm not like anxious for rates to get back down to four percent right now. So it's a valid strategy to sit on the sidelines. If that's your strategy, do it. But I'm working with people who are typically adjusting and pivoting their business plans, how they underwrite deals and their strategies to take advantage of what's currently going on in the market. I've been waiting a number of years for a slowdown in the self-storage space. 
Not sure if we're in a slowdown yet, but perhaps we're in one and perhaps we're headed towards one. That was one of the things I was grateful for this Thanksgiving. So thank you very much. My name's Mark Helm. I'm the author of Creating Wealth Through Self Storage, and I'm the creator of the Storage World Analyzer. That's the financial analysis tool that we use today to underwrite these deals using the higher interest rates and the higher reversion or cap rates or cap rates for future valuing. You can find out more about the Storage World Analyzer at creatingwealththroughselfstorage.com or storageworldanalyzer.com. Thank you very much, and I look forward to being with you next week. <music>